Hey guys, it is me, Zell, and we're here with another Star Wars reaction video. I am going through the list of the many requests that people have given me, so thank you so much for asking me and letting me know different videos you'd like to see, as well as your patience, as again, there's a list and I will get to them eventually. I, have, I keep track of them best I can. Um, you're certainly welcome to request them again if you felt like it has been missed, but I assure you I am working on it. Uh, so, on that note, we are going to watch a short film today. Short as in like almost four minutes. So, it's another uh, Order 66 one. So, it's Betrayal. Star Wars Order 66. Uh, it looks like it recently came out. A lot of people seem to like it. I don't know what to expect. I expect good things. I expect sad things. So I got my hanky just in case. But let's get right to it. Good quality. I can't tell, are those real trees? No, I'm sure there's gonna be quite a few old ass left. Why though? They would have lost the war. Why the wolf fighting? pack! Some have a hard time accepting defeat. Besides, I think. It looks like a dark gray. They keep them active for as long as they like. I suppose you're right, Meg. Gonna be weird after those fall as well. Yeah, what would we do without some clankers to fight? Become a police force? We went bread for that. Strike Group 5 will move in within the hour. <gasps> this will all be over soon, Commander. Tell them to be prepared for anything. Oh. Sir? That's not Wolfpack. I sense darkness. But hide in the force. So far, I've been unable to pinpoint the cause. This guy's really cool, I'll though. The troops, sir. Captain, incoming transmission from Coruscant. Says it's for you specifically. All right, let's see what we've got. That's... Jedi. So funny, but to them, we just expendable. They betrayed us. Now they will pay. They changed their oh, my gosh. He's got to sense something. my gosh. Okay, I have got to say I really like that perspective. I'm I'm a fan. I obviously wasn't too much brought up in the 
pre-chip era where it was just they knew all along that was something eventually. I'm a fan still of the chip concept because they kind of reflect it well in this. Like, how can fighting alongside your commander, this Jedi, for so long, and we've seen Jedi like Anakin and Obi-Wan and Ahsoka who are like right up there, Plo Koon, in the front lines, defending, protecting, you know, having a camaraderie with they're with the troopers, with the clones, and, and they, they speak the name that the clones ask to be called by. Like, obviously, some call them by their identification number, but many of them call them, like, by Rex, by Cody, by Wolf, you know? And I don't think that they would address them as such if they didn't see them as beings worth having that. So to have that connection, to have that relationship, and that all of a sudden, like, unless they just bred them, essentially, genetically mutated them to have just an empathy cut off or something. But even that, like, it would show how they react to other people. Like, they take care of civilians. They care take care of the other people they come across that get in the crossfires of these battles of this war. Um, we've seen it time and time again. The clones having compassion, at least the way it was portrayed in the Clone Wars, but again, they also are going under the precedent of the, the chip mentality. So again, I like the way they portray it here, because not only are they showing them having difficulty and a struggle in their mind, like something is triggering, something is affecting them all of a sudden. Um, and, but also having those memories adjusted you know that's not something they're like so instead of them being like oh this is what it is instead of it like a memory wipe they're literally adjusting the memory so it's conflicting and changing their perspective like the jedis did a mind trick on them almost so um it's almost like this could be like a third option like the chips of course triggering it to just all of a sudden compulsively attack but no, it's literally changing their memories to make them think that the Jedi or something caused their experience to be altered. So, really well done. Um, an interesting type of filming they did or uh, technology. It looked it looked realistic, like background and scenario, and almost like real people in these suits, but. At the same time, obviously, there was some special effects involved with the... What are they called? Are these Quarren? Is that what his race was? I don't think that was quite right. But, really cool. I, it did look like the wolf pack at first. The color was off, but it looked like at the symbol. Um, and I almost thought it was Plo Koon, and I would have flipped out seeing a real life um, realization of him. But, yeah. Again, I really like this. It was really good. It was uh, sweet and, and short to the point. They did overall really good. The voicing too, uh, clearly it sounded very similar to the clone actor. Um, and and even the voice actor who did, the effects they did for that the alien, you know, was realistic. Uh, very similar along the line of Plo Koon sounding, kind of that more guttural back here, almost like there's a lot of like water based. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. So thanks for the recommendation, uh, and thanks so much to Load Your Films. Load Your Films is the creator of this. It will the original video will be in the description below, so feel free to check it out, fresh for your for your eyes. Um, and thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more or checking out the rest of the channel. Uh, all of those things help support me and the channel and the community and help us grow. So thanks so much, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.